Hi friends. Welcome to Pharma Guideline. In this video we will explore 20 more interview questions and answers for quality assurance in pharmaceuticals. So without wasting time let us start. The first question is how would you handle an FDA inspection? Answer. During an FDA inspection, I would ensure that all requested documents are provided promptly and accurately. I would maintain clear communication, provide honest answers to their questions and avoid volunteering unnecessary information. Post-inspection, I'd work on implementing corrective actions for any observations or findings. The second question is what is the role of QA in audits and inspections? Answer. QA plays a critical role in preparing for internal and external audits by ensuring compliance with standard operating procedures, maintaining thorough documentation, and training staff. During inspections, QA assists in presenting records, responding to queries, and implementing post-audit corrective actions. The third question is how do you ensure compliance in batch record reviews? Answer. I verify that all critical process parameters and quality attributes meet specified requirements. I cross-check records for completeness, accuracy, and adherence to standard operating procedures. Any discrepancies are flagged and investigated promptly. The fourth question is what is ICHQ-10 and why is it important? Answer. ICHQ-10 is a pharmaceutical quality system guideline that provides a framework for implementing a comprehensive quality management system throughout the product life cycle. It promotes continuous improvement and ensures regulatory compliance. Fifth question is how would you address a recurring quality issue? Answer. I would first conduct a thorough root cause analysis to identify underlying factors. Then, I would implement Kappa and monitor their effectiveness through trend analysis. Collaboration with cross-functional teams ensures a holistic approach to problem solving. Sixth question is a batch failed quality testing. How would you proceed? Answer. I would quarantine the batch and investigate the cause of failure through a deviation report. After identifying the root cause, I would determine whether the issue is isolated or systemic and take appropriate kappa. The batch would be reprocessed, reworked, or rejected based on the investigation's findings. Question 7 is How do you prioritize tasks in a high-pressure environment? Answer. I prioritize tasks based on their impact on compliance and product quality. I use tools like priority matrices and collaboration with team members to delegate and manage workloads effectively. Eighth question is what is process validation and why is it important? Answer. Process validation demonstrates that a manufacturing process consistently produces a product that meets predefined specifications. It ensures product quality, reduces variability, and satisfies regulatory requirements. Ninth question is what is the purpose of stability testing? Answer. Stability testing evaluates how a drug's quality changes over time under various environmental conditions. It helps determine the shelf life, storage conditions, and packaging requirements. The tenth question is, what is the main purpose of quality risk management? Answer. QRM identifies, evaluates, and mitigates risks associated with pharmaceutical production processes. It ensures a proactive approach to quality by using tools like FMEA that is failure modes and effects analysis and HACCD that is hazard analysis critical control points. The eleventh question is, what do you check during a batch record review? Answer. During a batch record review, I ensure. 
completeness and accuracy of data entries. That all critical process parameters meet predefined specifications. Any deviations or non-conformances are documented and resolved. Twelfth question is, what is the significance of ICHQ7 in QA? Answer. ICHQ7 provides guidelines for good manufacturing practice specific to the manufacturing of active pharmaceutical ingredients. It ensures quality control and regulatory compliance for active pharmaceutical ingredients used in drug formulations. Thirteenth question is, how do you prepare for a regulatory audit? Answer. I prepare by ensuring all standard operating procedures and batch records are up to date. Conducting mock audits to identify gaps. Training staff on audit protocols and maintaining a culture of transparency. Fourteenth question is, what is the difference between a deviation and a change control? Answer. A deviation is an unplanned departure from an approved process or specification requiring investigation and corrective action. Change control, on the other hand, is a planned process for managing changes to systems, equipment or processes to ensure no adverse impact on product quality. The next question is, how do you ensure cleaning validation meets quality standards? Answer. I ensure cleaning validation by Establishing residue limits based on toxicity and potency Verifying cleaning procedures through swab and rinse sampling Reviewing analytical results to confirm no cross-contamination The sixteenth question is You find a recurring defect during product inspections How do you address it? Answer I would conduct a root cause analysis to identify the source of the defect. Implement corrective and preventive actions. Monitor the effectiveness of these actions through trending data. The next question is, how do you ensure effective communication between QA and other departments? Answer. I promote open communication by conducting regular cross-departmental meetings. Sharing quality metrics and reports. Providing training sessions to align everyone with quality standards. Eighteenth question is, describe a time when you identified a significant quality issue and how you resolved it. Answer. During a batch review, I noticed incomplete entries in the temperature monitoring log. I halted batch release, conducted a deviation investigation and implemented additional training for the team to ensure accurate record keeping. This prevented potential regulatory non-compliance. The next question is, what is the role of QA in managing CAPA? Answer. QA ensures CAPA is managed by verifying the root cause analysis, monitoring the implementation of actions and evaluating their effectiveness to prevent recurrence. The last question of this Q&A session is how do you stay updated on changing regulatory requirements? Answer. I stay updated by Attending industry conferences and webinars Subscribing to regulatory updates from authorities like the FDA and EMA Participating in professional networks and QA forums We will create next interview questions video soon, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get regular updates. Join channel membership to access exclusive content like courses and member-specific videos.